Scott Furon, remind me why it's okay, even healthy, to seek out and short dead companies walking and short them to zero. Uh, America's grown quite rapidly, faster than Europe and most of the world for years because we not only allow people to get rich, we allow companies to go broke. And when companies that are poorly allocating capital, that have failed in their industry, uh, the quicker those assets are put out of business and the people who work there go off and find newer, better jobs, the better it is for America. So short selling, while it's not something I would encourage John Q. Public to do, is something that's good for our capital markets and good for America. So how do you do it? Because it is a dangerous strategy for investors. Correct. I, we run screens and I visit lots of companies. I've visited over 1,500 company headquarters in the last 23 years. And we like to short companies that we literally believe could be heading towards bankruptcy. And they can, many are in retail, many are in software, across a variety of industries. And how do you avoid short squeezes? So, for example, JCPenney has probably a third of its shares sold short. Same thing with Sears. How do you make sure you don't get caught wasting your money and paying too much attention to these companies when there's better opportunities elsewhere? Uh, I prefer to only initiate a short position after a stock has fallen at least 50% from a previous high. So that takes out the risk of being caught in a short squeeze. And as the book title tells you, Dead Companies Walking, we really like to target companies and sometimes entire industries where we think the companies will all go broke. Video rental stores, the industry went away. Publicly traded uh, pay phones, the entire industry went away. Uh, paging manufacturers, they all went away. And so as these stocks are free falling, that's when we initiate our short investment and then we will hold them for one, two, three years until the company files bankruptcy. So do you think JCPenney and Sears are dead companies walking? Will they go bankrupt? I think it's going to be very tough for either company to regain their uh, standing in the retail sector. Having said that, it could be many years before either company files bankruptcy. It's this not the sort of investment we like to make. What about Herbalife? Everyone saw Bill Ackman's short battle with that company. Now it's actually working. It seems like he's in the money on it. What do you think about his strategy and that company? Because everyone's watching it. I'm sure you are too. I've uh, never met. Uh, any of the players in the Herbalife saga, but I have physically visited Herbalife and the company, is it a multi-layer marketing scheme as the short sellers claim? Possibly. I think the problem with Herbalife is the product they sell is questionable in terms of does it do anybody any good. Having said that, these are the big long short wars I'm never part of. I only manage $120 million. I can find small companies off the radar screen that are in trouble both as a long buyer and as a short seller and hopefully make meaningful returns for the investors in my hedge fund, which I've managed for 23 years. All right, any shorts you want to talk about now or any longs you want to talk about now? Well, uh, longs, I get excited about. I, again, I've visited over 1,500 company headquarters. I like to invest in longs that Wall Street doesn't write research on. Cormark, a big distributor to the convenience store industry based in the Bay Area, is a stock I've owned for two years. Uh, on the housing sector, because someday the housing industry will start doing well again. LGI Homes down in Houston, Green Brick Homes up in Dallas. Um, on the short side, uh, we prefer to not talk about our short positions because we don't want to be uh, criticized heavily. But uh, look at it. we like to look at industries that like currently yellow pages. Uh, any industry where you can argue the whole industry might be disrupted and being put out of business by better, newer technologies. That they're dead companies walking. Thanks a lot, Scott. Right. Thank you. And thank you for watching the street.